You got busted again, little bear, didn't you? Juniper, come. Well, last night was a long night for me. Greg is out of town and uh, I woke up because the neighbor's dog was barking and then I heard an odd sound. So I looked and that bear was in our old barn. I had a bag of chicken feed there and it was just starting to get into it, so scared it off, but of course it didn't want to leave and it hung around for about an hour and then finally at around 4, 4.30 a.m. it left, as far as I know. I, I stayed up until about 5 and then went back to sleep, but now it's the afternoon and he's back. So we're going to have a problem on our hands with this little bear. We get asked all the time what these trailers that we have here are and there is this big white one here that is uh, what we use for visitors when they come to stay they stay in that big trailer we're not really big fancy camper kind of people so when i saw this one come up on marketplace for only a thousand dollars i told greg we should get it it's only 13 feet long it needs a renovation but uh, that's something we would like to do so we jumped on this trailer and actually we were second in line and someone was going to be buying it in like four or five days from when I messaged the person and then on the day that they were supposed to be picking it up I got a message from the 
the seller saying, hey, they didn't show up, do you want to come get it? So we immediately headed straight to their place to check it out, make sure everything was good, and we bought it. So I'm really happy because we like to go camping. We didn't get out camping at all this year. So in order to go camping in October or November, I really don't want to be in a tent. I wanted to be in a camper that was uh, with a furnace. And so I'm really happy that this worked out. So we're going to be renovating it probably in the spring, but I'm hoping that we can get it a little bit nicer and cleaned up just for our use this winter as it is. It's going to need some ceiling around all of the windows and stuff because the, uh, I forget what it's called, but the stuff is worn out because this is a 1970s trailer. So it's uh, nice and small and it's going to be really fun. So like I mentioned, this is a 13 foot scamper. Uh, we've got, this is a couch that folds down to a bed. We've got a the mattress from the bus that should fit here. So I'm thinking we'll just have our actual, we'll just make this a bed permanently with our nice mattress. And then we've got a little table here. We've got cupboards. This does fold down to a bed like most trailers. I think it's actually screwed up so it doesn't fold down anymore and there's no foamy. But we've got the cupboards, we've got these really cool um, latches for these doors. So I want to repurpose those. And here we have a bathroom. So it's just a nice little compact trailer that will keep us warm in the winter and I think it'll be a really fun project to renovate this and make it nice again. There's a, some leaks around the windows and stuff but I think it'll be an easy fix. Everything seems really solid, the frame is really solid, we'll probably get some new tires on it and then it's a sweet little project for only a thousand dollars. So one of my goals for this week is to get this camper cleaned up. I want to get all the walls wiped down and just make sure there's no mold growing, make sure you know everything is okay for us to use it soon. But to be honest, I'm struggling with motivation to keep getting stuff done. Definitely feeling tired and burnt out. And to be completely honest, one of the things that happens to me when I'm feeling super tired and burnt out is I start to feel depressed. And I've been dealing with this for a long time. Pretty much before we moved out here, I was a full-time student. And actually when we moved out to our property, I was in a very intensive program and trying to do that while you're adjusting to living off grid was really, really difficult. Therapy is actually something that has really helped me with my depression and anxiety. And one of the difficult things about that for us though, is we live a fair distance from town and we live near a small town. So there's not a whole lot of therapists to choose from. They are usually booked solid for a month in advance. And that's why I'm super excited to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, which is BetterHelp. BetterHelp is a platform that makes finding a therapist easier because it's online, it's remote. And by answering just a few simple questions, BetterHelp can match you with a professional therapist in just a matter of a few days. So whether you're diagnosed with a mental health condition or you're just a human going through the world these days, having a hard time, therapy can give you the tools to approach life in a new way. It's really easy to sign up and get matched with a therapist just by clicking the link down in our description or going to betterhelp.com slash offgridlife. And not only does clicking the link help our channel out, but it also will get you 10% off your first month with BetterHelp. So you can connect with a therapist and see if it'll help you. And another really cool thing about BetterHelp is that if you find you don't really fit with the therapist you get matched with, you can easily get switched to someone new at no additional cost and no extended waiting periods like I experienced here in our small town. So if you're struggling, consider online therapy with BetterHelp by clicking the link down in our description or going to betterhelp.com 
slash offgridlife. And a big thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. All right, I got everything wiped down. Uh, I'm gonna spray concrobium all around. Uh, there's a couple spots where it's leaked, so I'm gonna especially get those areas. But then the back of the cushions there were starting to mold. So if you live in Canada and you live in an RV or a bus or something where there's you know condensation builds up or just anywhere really, concrobium is a non-toxic mold inhibitor kills and prevents mold and uh, you can get it at Canadian Tire and it's awesome. All right, that's feeling a lot fresher in there. Now we've got the concrobium all over the place. And the next thing we need to do with this trailer is seal all of the windows and stuff on the outside with some caulking because the, I forget what it's called, the stuff that goes between the window and the wall to seal it is old and it's not working anymore. So we'll get those covered with caulking. And then I really want to pull the walls out and you know, put new paneling in and stuff so I'm gonna have to work on Greg with that one but otherwise it's looking pretty good in there feeling pretty exhausted we've had this black bear that has just been persistent he came three times yesterday 3 a.m. and he would not leave and then 3 p.m. and then 11 p.m and it's super annoying because I wake up five times in the night and jump out of bed thinking oh shit I fell asleep I better go check the animals I set up I knew where he was going to be going so I set uh, an old saw that we have up it's pretty heavy and then I hung empty buckets off of it so that if he went in there the buckets would fall and make a sound and either I would wake up or the dogs would wake up dogs have not been waking up but I have been so I caught him trying to climb into our old barn I pl put plywood on the door as well and then scared him off right away the dogs were on him once the bear is out of the yard a little bit I let the dogs out and then they chase him but I don't want the dogs to corner it in the yard somewhere so I give it a little bit of a head start <laughs> but then they're on it. And thankfully Juniper keeps her distance and she's very vocal and she barks at it. So I think that is exactly what you want in a dog that is chasing bears because Hinto is not like that. He just runs at them and doesn't bark. And he got actually swiped from 
a bear when I brought him from Australia and the first bear that he saw in Canada, he chased it and got swiped by it. It wasn't injured at all, but it, he had a little scratch on his face and thankfully it wasn't worse. So I want to get all this firewood into the woodshed, try and chop up the rest of it. And then I need to get all of the feed and the chicks moved into the barn for the night because I don't want the bear to get them. So I want to just get everything cleared out of there and then he can't get into anything. And hopefully the barn is secure enough that he doesn't get in there as well. He, yeah, I haven't seen him today, so hopefully we scared him off enough, but I guess we'll find out tonight. I don't think I have it in me to chop all this wood. I think I'm just gonna stack up what I chopped already and call it a night.
Yeah. The underleg? The underleg. No way. Only when I'm trying to be like you, Kate. Oh. I'll get you to, to cut this one. Through it. The battery. I just switched it out. I have a three amp power. Ah. Oh! Tried to do some fancy. Failed. But We thought we were gonna run out, but thankfully one of our scrap pieces is gonna fit on the very last section. We almost ran into town to get more before the store closed and then we realized the store had already closed. So we just kept going and it's really good that we did because there we go. It's upside down, but nobody, nobody knows that. There we go. Just a little corner piece. That's all we gotta do, Katie. Nice. No big, that's no big deal at all. 